Hi, everyone. I just wanted to get on here and talk a few minutes about my story. I guess my testimony um, is very difficult to talk about, but um, I feel the need to share this. Hopefully, maybe it might help. Uh, I hope so. I don't remember the time or the date or anything at, at all. All I know, all I remember is I was young. I was very young. I would say maybe the ages from like four, five, maybe to eight, somewhere in between there. Um, me and my cousin were, my grandparents had made us a pallet on the floor beside their bed. And um, all I remember is he had woke me up in the middle of the night and told me that he had seen something. It was on top of the TV and the TV was on like a stand and it was in front of the window but there was nothing on top of the TV before that. Well, he, he, he sounded scared. And um, so I looked and I seen that there was a figure on top of the TV. It was black. And um, so he wanted to get in the bed with my grandparents because he was really scared. And um, uh, all I remember is that um, he had, I think he had woke them up and told them, you know, he wanted to get in the bed with them. So they allowed him in the bed. And I was still on the floor. Um, this was so long ago, so a lot of things have, are kind of blurry, but I still pretty much remember everything that happened. Um, I was there alone on the floor and I, I, I remember pulling the covers up and then um, I pulled the covers back down and this black figure was at my feet. And I remember it being kind of small and it was completely black and it had red eyes and um, it started talking. Well, at the time, I didn't know what it was. Um, now I know that it was a demon, but at the time I didn't, I was young, and all I know is there was something standing at my feet, and it was black and red eyes, and it started talking to me. And it said that it was going to take me and my cousin, uh, his name was Charles, but we called him Pookie. And um, that was like his nickname. And um, he, the demon had said that he was gonna take me and my cousin to hell. And then it started laughing. And I seen this with my eyes. This was not a dream. Um, and it was really scary really really scary I've I've told other people you know like my family um, I just I guess I'm not scared of bringing it up you know I just don't really talk about it a lot and I, I don't know I just I felt the need to tell my story and um, hopefully it will help but um, I was very young and um, I, di I didn't know at the time what it was. But um, I do remember that it was black, it had red eyes and it was talking. And um, it was at my feet. Um, nothing else had happened. Um, that's, that's really all I remember. And um, there's still, a lot of things to say and there's still a lot of things to talk about 
um, I really wasn't going to go into it on this video. I was going to make like different parts, um, like part one, part two, because it's such a long story and there's so many things that's happened. Um, uh, I, I just, I just felt the need to share it. Um, demons are real. They are real and they are there. Um, they're around you at all times. They know what you're doing. They know what you're saying. They know what you're texting. They know. And I just, I just wanted to share these things, you know, um, I had, um, gotten to a real bad wreck and my cousin had gotten to a real bad wreck. The same cousin that the demon said that he was going to take to hell. And, um, I was, I was, I was in my 20s. I was married. And um, I got a phone call. And it was my brother. And he told me that my cousin had died in a accident. Um, he was in a truck with two friends of his. And he was on his way. From what I was told, he was on his way to a fight. And um, I think they may have been drinking he was on some stuff. Um, I don't know all the details. I just, I just know some things. But it was, it was so bad that Pookie had been thrown from the truck, and they said that um, his brains were everywhere. They were all, all over the the road. Um, there was man driving and then there was his son that was sitting on the passenger side and Pookie was in the middle. The other two were fine. You know, they made it out okay, which is good. Um, but Pookie was thrown from the truck and he died. And, uh, that was really difficult to deal with. But, um, I don't remember ever telling him that, um, that that demon had told me that he was going to take me and Pookie to hell. So, um, I really regret that. But, um, Not long after that, um, I had gotten to a really bad wreck, too. Um, I was on my way from church, and, um, it wasn't raining, or, um, not, nothing was really happening in the weather. Um, I just, I blacked out, and my car had went into um like this canal and it had flipped and it had threw me from the car and i was in the ditch i was um i was out of it um some friends well a guy that i was seeing at the time he had he was in front of me but he had seen he said my car just looks like it just drew like drew like went right off the road pretty much and, um, um, he said when he got there, the car was flipped on its side and he didn't see me nowhere. And, um, he said he finally found me and my body was in the ditch and I was, um, just, I guess I was knocked out because I don't remember anything. Um, he said he was hitting me so hard to try to wake me up like slapping me in the face like really hard but I don't remember nothing everything was just black and it was it was it, everything went black before it even happened because I don't remember anything that happened I don't remember blacking out I don't remember driving off the side of the road I don't remember being thrown from the vehicle but I was thrown from the vehicle um I, I want to say the cops had set out at least 10 feet in the air, but I didn't have one broke bone in my body. Um, 
they finally got me alert when the ambulance got there and um, I didn't remember nothing at the time. I, I don't even really remember talking all that much, but I didn't remember my name. I don't remember anything. Um, they got me to the hospital and um, it was really bad. The car was totaled, completely totaled. It was like a box. I shouldn't have lived. I should have died, but God saved me. He saved me. Jesus saved me. I should have died. But God saved me. He saved my life and he saved me from the pit because I know that I would have died and went straight to hell. I know it. I was living in sin. I was, I was living in sin. I was completely completely I was so living in sin and I was um, just doing what I wanted to do and I um, I wasn't saved I was not saved and I know I would have went straight to hell I know hell is real I don't have to go there I know I know demons are real and um, I know I seen that demon when I was young I was so young and, um, and God saved me from that wreck. He saved me completely. I should have died. It was so bad. The car was totaled. I don't even remember a lot of things of it. But I remember when I got to the hospital, these nurses had been talking. They thought that I was drinking and driving because I couldn't, I couldn't walk. And, um, like, I just... It was it was it was really 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 awful, and um, but they ran the blood test and found I didn't have any liquor, nothing in my system. I didn't even I don't I didn't even take no like Tylenol or nothing like nothing in my system whatsoever. And um, so yeah, it, it was just really bad. And God saved my life. He saved my life. I know He did. And uh, I just want to share that. I haven't felt the need to share this. And there's so much more to talk about. I've had many, many dreams. Many, many dreams. Uh, a lot of dreams. And um, I don't understand and I don't know why. I've dreamed so much of demons. Like... There's been so many, so many dreams of demons that I've had. Um, and there are a few that I want to share. Um, and, and just here recently, probably within the last year or two, the dreams that I've been having, are they feel so real. It's really, really real. Like real, more real than any of my dreams I've had before in my life. And I don't know, just like intensifying or something, and um, yeah, I just, I just want to share that, and, and, and God is good, He is good, and He is real, and Jesus is real, Jesus Christ is real, and He is coming soon, I don't know the day, I don't know the hour, I don't know the minute, and I know demons are real, and I know what I've seen was real, so, um, I just want to share that and I hope it helps somehow, some way. I hope it helps and this is very difficult because I've never, I've been making videos probably within the last couple of months because I've been feeling the need to, but I don't do these kind of things. I don't get on the video and make videos or anything because I just, I just don't, I just didn't, but. Um, I don't know. I just, I hope this helps. And I know that we're living in the end times right now. Right now. Everything that Jesus says is true. Everything that God says is true. For Jesus is the way, the truth, and the life. And I know he's coming soon. Um, I just hope we're all ready. 
hope we're all ready. I hope we don't waste not one more day, not one more second, not one more hour, nothing, because we're running out of time. And, you know, we've got to listen to Jesus. We've got to follow Jesus. I know, I know we can do what we want and we can make our own decisions, but that doesn't mean it's right. Jesus is right. God is right. And he is holy and he is pure and he is perfect and he is true and he is loving and he is all powerful. And we all belong to God, all of us. He says in his word that every soul belongs to him. And if we do not listen, we do not obey him, then hell is our punishment. And there are demons there. And we will be tortured day in, day out, every day, nonstop, every second. And that's another dream that I had that I want to share. Um, I'm not going to go into it right now, but yeah, it was, it was, it was bad. Um, but hell is real. Punishment is real for our sins. It is. So I hope that each and every one of us, the light of the gospel shines on us today. And I hope we turn from our sins, each and every one, every man, woman, boy, and girl. I hope we do that. Jesus is coming. He is coming. Um, I hope everyone has a blessed day. I love everyone.